Okay, so this was question two of your mock exam, and it was a sets question. So the universal set U contains set P and set Q. The union of sets P and Q written using set notation is P union Q. Describe what is meant by P union Q in your own word. Well, what I would write here is it is a set that includes all the elements in A and in B. Okay. Shade in P union Q in the Venn diagram. So I'll use green highlighter for this. So P union Q uh, is going to be P union Q. All right. So there it is shaded in. That's P union Q. Uh, a few of us, one mistake I noticed was you mixing up P intersection Q, P N Q, which would be just the middle area shaded, okay? But it was P union Q. Uh, describe using set notation the shaded regions in each of the following Venn diagrams. So to do this, I keep an eye on the set that is shaded. C is partially shaded here. So C has got this shaded here. But anything it shared with A is gone, anything it shared with B is gone. So I'm going to say that that is C less A union B. So it's everything in C, take away everything that's in A and everything is in B. All right. Part two, A and B are partially shaded, but it is missing C. So I will say that that is A union B less C. All right. So C is taken away from a union B. All right. And then for this one, it's A union B union C, but it's anything but. It's we don't want that union. So you put this little complement sign here, and that's everything outside of A union B union C. Part C, put a tick in the correct box to show which statement is true. Tick one box only and explain your answer. So this is the answer. And my reasoning is it is the associative property of sets or in other words it doesn't matter where you put the brackets that's what they're kind of showing that a union b if you did that first and then union c would be the same as if you if you union b and c first and then union day same thing and that's the associative property you can associate the brackets wherever you want okay and that was question two.